Okay, so we all are live now. I think I'm audible. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I'm live. So how are you are feeling? Good evening, first of all. And let's do the icebreaker thing. So let me start with myself. Uh, I'm Samir Saini, BSc BKB IT degree. So, let me know how you all are feeling. Uh, is it cold or are you from other side of the India and you're still warm and all? So, let me know how you all are feeling and how you are spending your weekend this time. Learning something new or just keeping yourself warm and all. Shekhar said, India, yeah, of course, you are from India. Welcome, Shekhar. And welcome, you all. Baba, Aniket, Mayank. Okay, yes, thanks. I'm, yes, I'm audible. Okay. So, if you want to connect with me, you can connect with me on Twitter. Here's my handle, Soyokaze. Yes, it's getting cold, Baba. I'm literally having chills right now. It's something around like what 18 or 20 degrees Celsius here. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, we all are doing our best and learning something. So let's wait till more of us join and we will be doing our stuff. And also since exams and all are coming closer, so we will be wrapping this up uh, in short time and we'll try to cover as much as we can uh, in a little amount of time we have with us. So with me we have Shekhar Agrawal that's our Android, Google Android facilitator uh, selected by Google uh, under DSC and BQIT. He will be teaching you all about Kotlin and how to develop apps and all. So, back to Shekhar Agrawal, our Android facilitator, and he will be briefing you all about Android and stuff and how you can learn and participate in the Android Jam studies and how you can or get your badges and stuff so you can show off them on your uh, social media and all. So, let's get back to Shekhar Agrawal. Shekhar. Hello everyone. It's me, Shekhar. Can you guys listen to me? Hello everyone. Thank you, lead. Okay guys, just tell me uh, in the comment section, uh, what did you think about uh, Android Study Jams? Great man, sound funds. It's okay. And just uh, wait, let me tell you guys what is about the program. The Android study program is uh, about uh, the Android study Zen's program is designed by the Google for a new student developers who want to learn how to develop Android uh, applications. Uh, so what we need to develop an app uh, obviously we need a computer and uh, the computer should uh, having an android studio for that we need uh, an, uh, these requirements to fulfill this uh, store uh, to install the android study uh, android studio sorry uh, uh, in windows uh, we need uh, windows 7 8 or 10 it can be any one of them uh, 
फोर जी बी रैम मिनिमम एट जी बी रैम रिकमेंडेड टू एंड यू गाइज कैन सी दिस आई थिंक यू कैन टेक स्क्रीन शॉट एंड आस्क मी इन कॉमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू कॉन सो आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो एंड देन वी नीड अ इंटरनेट कनेक्शन फॉर दैट ओके फॉर इट्स ओपनल वी कैन यूज एंड्रॉइड डिवाइस एंड ए यू एस बी केबल so for that uh, we need a developer profile google developer profile for that we can show a peoples that we have learned something for that i would like to call uh, our dsc lead sami okay yeah shekhar okay thanks uh, i will take this from here Well, can you share my screen so I can show what the profile is? Let me change the profile because I'm audible. Let me see. Okay, yes, I'm audible. Okay. So, what uh, developer profile is? Well, uh, as you can see, it's still in beta version. So there, uh, there will be some bugs and all. If you encounter some, you can. Give them that feedback. So, uh, what developer profile? Is? Well, Google Developer Profile uh, is a platform you can say where you will be learning about Google technologies, and from that, uh, from learning those technologies as a proof, you will be unlocking some achievement. Like uh, I don't know if some of you are you are play games and stuff. So, like uh, if you download uh, when purchase a game from some client like Steam. And you play the game. There are a few achievements kind of thing that you can achieve uh, from like complete uh, completing a few tasks that are uh, in the game. So it is similar to that. You will be learning and doing some stuff and task that is given to you in that pathway or whatever you are learning, and you will be unlocking achievement. So it's kind of a profile. Where you, you can showcase like what we have learned about the Google technologies, and uh, yeah, uh, that's all. Uh, a great platform for learning Google technologies and taking a proof. Like I have learned this, and here are my achievements. Uh, I'm like uh, what a master or something in that. So there are two things: pathways and of course the badges. That you will be learning by participating in Google Developer Community and event. So one of the event is right now this the info session. It is also an uh, developer community event. So you can join us if you haven't joined us already. And the major thing that is the badges. So I'll talk that about in a bit here. So yes, and from today onwards. We are announcing DSC badges 2021. So if you are like what uh, a member of DSC, uh, we will be sharing links to your mailing just after this event. And so for that you have to be a member. So we will talk about that uh, in a bit. So once that once you become a member, we will be sharing links with you all, and you can get a really cool badge that you can. Uh, showcase on your social media and stuff, and that will be also showcasing on your Google Developer profile that I am a developer student club member. So that is one of the perk of being a member of DSC. So these are DSC badges, and they are still many more coming like next year since this year is about to end. So we have all that. Now that's all the theory part. Uh, let me show you, uh, give a demonstration on what the developer profile looks like. So first of all, you have to go to Google, Google dot dev. That's all. That's the link. Google dot dev. Simple as that. Now, once you head over to the Google developer profile that is still in beta version, so that is Google dot dev. You will be prompted about like your Google profile is a way to learn about Google technologies and unlock achievements. Now that's the the main thing is that 
for now currently it only supports at the gmail account so if you have that uh, that's fine you can create on this right away or you can if you don't have that if you have a proton mail or outlook something so you can join the beta so we are currently in open beta which means it is open to all and it's still in beta so let's create a developer profile it's simple sign in So once you sign in, uh, let it load. Now it will ask you about your info and stuff. Okay, yes. So uh, you have to enter your mail like ID and something. You can enter your own name here, just name uh, and your location. I'm a student or something like. Your data scientist or also a student where okay, you add your full name and pronoun him her him say that if you want to stay updated about the developer events and features and other content you can click this one and just click finish that's all that easy two clicks and your developer profile is input That is this. And here's the one thing. So as you can see, I've just created a developer profile and got one badge. And now here one thing like about the avatar system. Now here it's uh, kind of a, like uh, this one is the best thing. Like once you upload any uh, picture of you, it will like scan that pic and uh, create an avatar based on the picture of you, like what hairstyle you have, what uh, a complexion of your skin is, what you are wearing, the color, and if you have any beard and stuff or earring stuff, so it will generate an avatar based on that. And if we have just randomly selected our one, so that is one thing. So that's how you will be creating your. Uh, like Google Developer Profile. So let me show you mine. Oh. Like I have few more badges. Like uh, one is like DSC lead, and one of that I was talking about the DSC member. If you get, uh, if you become a member of our DSC, we will be giving a badge to you. As uh, like yes, you are a member, and here's your badge. Here you can see profile. Uh, here you can see I have. Uh, once you will get enrolled in the uh, uh, developer what Android Study Champs pathway, you will get a badge. What say, that says Android Study Champs participant. And one of the badge that I was talking about is the 
develop a student club member these are more, you will be getting more and more badges now uh, that shekhar agrawal will say our annual facilitator that will clarify about that more and you can share it on facebook or twitter uh, i have just posted one just few hours back so if you visit my profile on twitter you can see that there so that is all about our developer Google developer profile still ongoing, but I see a huge potential in that. Like it will be the next big thing. You will be show, showcasing your everything, your achievement, what you have learned about Google technologies. It will be, it will be like a report card. Like yes, I have learned these things, and here's the proof. I have earned these badges because I have passed these uh, quizzes and all. So you will be getting badges not for free. I mean. Uh, not free of course. By free, uh, I mean you have to earn it by solving the quizzes and all that. Uh, Shekhar will clarify. Now, how will become a member of TSC? Yes, you can join us on Discord. Of course, you can scan this, take a screenshot, or else we will be sharing these slides just after this event. So stay, stay right on with us till the last. And we will be mailing this, or you can have it on our community page. You have to also join us on our community page and Discord, so you can be a official member of our community, and you can get that cool badge and showcase on your Google Developer Profile. That would be cool. So that that is all from my side uh, for now. And let's head back to Shekhar. Shekhar, yes. Take on the stage. Thank you, lead. Now we should move next. Uh, and where to start? Uh, just tell me in the comment section. Did you have ever learned any programming language? Okay. Which language did you have learned, ma'am? Oh, great. Uh, but I think it was, and there are many people who ca can't able to learn or started anything yet. So we have two, uh, uh, two tracks for this, uh, for a new programming, uh, for a new ones who have never learned any programming language, they can start from new, pro uh, new to programming track. In this, we will learn how to build uh, how to uh, programming language uh, is about and programming Kotlin programming language introduce uh, introduction to a programming language then we uh, then we are creating our first android app and then we will building a basic layout with uh, buttons and many more things and just we then after that we get a uh, user inputs and scrollable list and many more things like with like this we have uh, new to programming language after that we have second uh, track uh, prior programming experience first we uh, in this we have learned in this we should know about uh, github so i would like to call mayank for the github Uh, thank you, Shekhar. So I am. I think I'm audible. So let's get started. So you are currently seeing my GitHub profile, just my GitHub dashboard. So let me start with it. What is GitHub actually? So uh, I will be only speaking. So that there's nothing to show anything so github is an distributed version control in which your code is kept 
it, it is like a website where you are keeping your code okay for in in layman terms and you can also think it will keep your code safe because it's it's on the cloud so that's why and you can if you are putting your code into your public repository so anyone can access that code freely and that's why for open source we use github the most uh, so let's let me show you how to create a repository so here is my first of all let me show you something like here is the button which is, is showing me like uh, signed in as mykg which is my username so here i can see my profile your profile so here it is showing me my profile so my name is my mgor and it is showing me total commits have done 215 and anything you can customize it into your readme file now here are the repositories i have 49 49 repositories which is are uh, like these okay so <clears throat> making an account on github is very easy you can do it easily uh, now we will create an repository so after cl clicking new it is telling me owner which is me now let us assign a name which will be test a o t l i n okay test kotlin suppose uh, my repository is public description anything you want this is a repo and i don't want to add a readme file not get ignore uh, i don't want license uh, i will tell you what readme is dot get ignore and these are for the you know uh, professional not professional but there are many concepts in get github so which is not necessary for now i am telling you this because of after uh, your you will be doing things on kotlin so you can easily upload your code to github as a repo so here it is showing me quick setup if you have done this kind of thing before so it is my http url uh, which i can keep on to my which i can add it on to do my git what is git i will tell you later so let's create by create a new file so let me create test dot py suppose suppose i am creating a python so py the python anything print okay so here is the comments commit is like a comment you can think which you are giving to your file for now you can think is that is so by default it will assign created create test.py commit to your test.py so i don't want to change anything commit new file okay so i uh, in my repository i have test.py file uh, if i open it in new tab so it has this code okay now let's add a readme file so what a readme file is suppose you want any kind of description you want to uh, show what this repository is about so you can write things into readme.md file dot md refer as markdown it is a markdown file and markdown editor if you know about that so this is a repo uh, by hashtag heading two heading three so i don't want any kind of description for now let's create a new comment now you can see test kotlin is what we have written and heading two and heading three is there okay so let's move on to git mm. just a second so i hope you are seeing this the page and it refers as get hyphen hyphen fast fast version control and now if i go to downloads i have downloads which is for mac os x uh, linux or unix or windows so we are gonna do it for windows as soon as as soon as you will click on windows it will start downloading it for you 
okay i already had downloaded it so i don't need it uh, after downloading what you have to do is nothing you just have to click and install it and then press next 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 and next everything it, it will be defaultly okay it's 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 not visible okay 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 uh, okay just a second let me share it again is it visible now yeah yeah so downloading it this will download your get after click, clicking on what i just showed you about okay uh, so after downloading what you have to do just double click the package.exe file and install it directly there's nothing more to do about okay now after installing git what you have to do okay so after installing properly you mean uh, you just have to click it on the exe file and just next so after installing uh, they will show you successfully installed and if you go to your desktop and right click you will see a list in which there will be provided uh, open uh, git bash here so after clicking that this kind of cli which is visible now on the screen will open up so it is showing me currently that i am on my desktop okay so in desktop what i want to so yeah so it's technically follows all the linux command linux linux command so if i do mkdir and test suppose i'm creating a folder test suppose this is your kotlin folder okay you, you have some Kotlin code here or anything, whatever uh, you are doing in Android Street Jams. Now you will change the directory into test. And suppose we are creating a file test dot py. Okay. VIM is an editor. So which is, they will ask you, you whether want to associate you are get with VIM or some other, other editor. So at the time of installation, I did that. Uh, that's no big deal. Now, if I click I, so you can see I can insert now. So this is my code. Now press escape, colon, and W for save and Q to quit. Okay, this is my code, test.py code. Now, what I want to do now, uh, actually, what Git does, Git will create a timeline of your code. Whatever code you have, it will create a timeline using commits. Mm -hmm. Commit is the version of that uh, code you can think. Okay. <clears throat> so suppose this is my version of one of the code. Now I want to commit the changes. I want to confirm the changes. So I will get add dot dot signifies all the files in the working directory my working directory is desktop and test uh, okay yeah one more thing before if you want any uh, folder to be your git repository you first have to initialize it by the command git in it okay then press enter so it, it is showing you in it initialize empty git repositories in c user million docker uh, desktop test dot get okay so now if i do git add dot it is added into my staging area and stage what is staging area and i will provide a link to you because we don't have much time i can't explain you everything about git and github so i'm telling you very basics uh, we have added our file test.py into an, an area which in which the file is gonna track okay so now if i check my status git status so what it is telling you no commit set you uh, you can think uh, like you haven't confirmed your changes yet or you can you haven't confirmed that you want 
this test.py into your repository or not. So let me commit it. This commit is same as what we did into the GitHub. And this is commit test.py. So I have created an test. Uh, I've created and commit. Now if I do git status, now they will tell me on branch master, which my branch is master, nothing to commit, working tree is clean. Working tree signifies here working directory, which I am working on. Okay, so here we have simply created an git repo. Now, what if you want to um, store that repo into your GitHub account? So let's see. Let, yeah, one more thing about this. Suppose you have downloaded this uh, git repo, uh, sorry, git.exe or this application, but you won't be able to git add or git commit anything because you haven't actually associated your github url uh, github profile with your git so in order to do that what you have to do let me show you you have to configure your <clears throat> git how you can configure your git uh, so what get needs is your need is your email and any name uh, I will um, I prefer use your github name uh, so git config hyphen hyphen global username dot just joseph dot example dot com here is your email which is associated with github and get config global username uh, John which is whatever your username you want it to be okay so doing that would wait okay let me show you it also application okay yeah so if you want to copy uh paste into the github cli you have to press shift plus insert okay i want my username to be same as my mykg which is my same as github account i have configured now i want to configure my email and which is c o n t a c t contact to my god at the rate email.com okay now enter it I have configured so this is what you need to do uh, if you have had encountered or they will tell you if you if any error about this will uh, show shows up or arises they will tell you about what you have to do okay <clears throat> so yeah let's create uh, let's create another repository on github okay just a second okay i think visible now what we are gonna do is the same thing click on new uh here i am dsc uh study jams okay description i don't want right now uh public repository i don't want to initialize it and then create repository okay so currently this repo is offline uh sorry uh empty so yeah let's do it then okay i already had uh did all these steps like get in it we did we added our code we committed our code what branching is i will tell you later or i will provide you a link into the description you will check that out and you will get to know all the about branches and other things about it now what they are telling us to do is git remote add origin so copy this code 
copy this uh, particular line so what this line will do this line with will add your <coughs> this url which is your uh, repository url to your local repository okay as the name of origin you can type anything here origin is not necessary okay so let me again share my screen yeah it's visible i think so i'm gonna paste it with shift plus insert get remote add origin now added now what i want to do is push this code get push hyphen u hyphen u signifies uh, upstream and because my branch is here sir. i mean yeah branch is master master could not appear to be uh, get push hyphen you yeah it's master there yeah. wait Yes, it's already there. Yeah, it's already exists. Get remote hyphen v origin is yes, 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 yes. It's in the push hyphen u origin. Okay, sorry, I forgot to put the origin because you want to you want to tell this command like you your uh, URL name. Okay, so this is origin URL. Uh, this is URL, and this is origin your name of the URL. So you have to tell in this command, which is which I just did. Get push hyphen u origin master, and now if I again go to Now, if I refresh it, because we have uploaded, we have the same repository, which is test.py, in which I have <laughs> put this code, ha ha ha, or whatever will be the case for you. And one more thing uh, I forgot is to tell you about, suppose we are creating an, another new repository. Okay, let's create it. PSC jams, okay. Now, if I create this repo, yeah, upload an existing file. So, if you are, uh, if you click, if you will, uh, yeah, if you wanna click on this upload on an existing file, you can drag your files here simply, which is drag and drop, which we do on our what what it is Google Drive or and Mega and everything. You can easily drag your files here, your repositories or Right, so you can choose from here okay and same way you can commit the changes and it will go the same way so i think that was all about git and github there are many things like stashing and rebasing the code head pointer and everything but in this case you don't need to know about these things right now okay so thank you and samir now over to you Okay, thank you, man, uh, about the grid and GitHub. So the, uh, you have no, uh, you have the knowledge of grid and GitHub. So you know grid and about the GitHub. Now the other thing is the prior to the <laughs> sorry, excuse me, prior knowledge of programming. If you know programming, you can uh, uh, pick up the next track that is a track two prior to the programming about portal that will be briefed to about, about that um, by Shekhar Agrawal. So Shekhar, to you.
So we will be briefing you about the second track. Thank you, Samir and Mark. So let's move ahead. Uh, so next we will learn in prior programming language, uh, Kotlin syntax. Okay, and so in next session, uh, there will be, I am telling you how to use for loop, if else, and these type of statements in this. After that, you will learn how to build your first Android app using Kotlin, Hello World app build an interactive app uh, so it's required a ui so here you will learn how to le build a good ui and for everything after that we need to learn navigation if we are creating an app so we need to move these active uh, different different screens to different different on uh, different clicks of users so for that we will learn uh, navigation activity and fragment cycles life cycles and architecture of components in this we will learn about data uh, binding and many more things uh, where we learn view models and many more things after that where, where we store uh, data and like this type of thing how we will show any number of data in our app so for that here we are with the databases and recycler view okay so for that we will go learn then we are going to learn how to connect our app from internet and uh, get data from there and connect our databases uh, getting images from the internet like other apps are doing okay after that we will learn how to repository and work manager and design for everyone okay so here we learn these type of things uh, after that we will go and build an uh, in in i think fourth session we will learn how to build an app we are live coding with our apps uh, uh, in next session we will learn um, in next session we will learn coding kotlin basics and many more things so stay tuned and if you have any questions you can ask in comment sections This is the QA session. If you want to ask anything, ask it right away. We will be happy to help you. Now, if you are watching this after the live, so it is not live right now, so then uh, you can if you ask your questions by joining our Discord. So if you are already on Discord, you can ask it. Yeah, we will be helping you there. Or if you have it, ask it right now so others can know about the doubt too. And if you are having the same doubt, it will be helpful to you there. So, if you are having we will be waiting for a minute or two. There will be no doubts, we will be signing up. And yeah, one more thing. Uh, Shekhar, have you cleared? about the timeline of this challenge this study jam i think no one have any questions i think uh, i think no one had any questions so let close this okay so what about the timeline of this event it is started from uh, 25th november and it is so what about the timeline will end when Okay, that's uh, uh, it's a, I think 25th Jan, it was ending. Okay, uh, yes, 
So we if will you are having some right? of completion, yes. like uh, if you are having exams right now, like most of us are having, so don't worry about that. We will be covering the same thing in January too. Like it's a month, a uh, two month long, so we will be covering everything in this two month duration. You can ask about. You can start like any time. If not in December, you can start in. Uh, January, but you have to complete it. So start it wisely. That's all I want to say. And then I think yes, uh, we don't have any uh, questions. Thank you all for who are attending, and yes, of course, who helped us uh, conduct this event. That is, thank you, Mayan, for the getting it up, and of course, our dear. Uh, is the under facilitator Shekhar Agrawal and the one who was the Baba Vyas who was handling all the backstage. Thank you to Baba Vyas too. And also to the DSC Google developers who gave this opportunity to us about learning Android from the creators. So yeah, DSC team signing off. Thank you all for attending.